Hi right, folks, welcome back to the B29 restoration project. Uh, the last video, we were getting the new nose gear structure or nose gear and nose cone structure fitted to the front of the fuselage. Um, yeah, it took pretty much the majority of an afternoon to get all that figured out and get it fitting nicely. Uh, right now it's fitting really well um, to the point to where I have decided that we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and finalize and epoxy all of the uh, forward structure together. Uh, most of this is all gonna, going to get just some uh, three quarter inch triangle stock in all the seams or all the joints. Glue it together with 30 minute epoxy and then uh, once all that's dried and cured, we will glue it to the nose of the fuselage. And then that begins the process of getting the, the, the hatch structure inside the fiberglass nose cone, get, getting that put in place, getting the, the fiberglass hatch glued to the fuselage, and then body working all of that into the fuselage and once that is done, it will be another round of paint, probably some, I'll probably go ahead and put body filler on the top of the fuselage and, and then roll it over and work on the uh, gear doors and their hinging and actuation and all of that stuff. Uh, gear doors are always fun to do. Said no one ever, but something I would like, I'm wanting to do to this thing because I think they look cool and it looks better than big holes in the bottom. Um, fortunately, the mold that was used for the nose cone can also be used as the gear door mold. So that saves us a little bit of headache <laughs> as far as uh, having to make up another mold. So like I said, right now, I've got the whole nose gear structure here in place. Um, you know, it, it's all laser cut, it's CAD design, it's all interlocking. It pretty much holds itself in place. So really, it's just a matter of... Uh, mixing up epoxy and putting the tri stock in place a couple of things of medium or thick ca here in spots with some kicker to help hold everything nice and tight together and then go for the from there um one thing i'm not going to do is i do plan on putting tri stock on the inside joints but i'm going to wait to do that until the whole thing is glued onto the front of the fuselage and then when i roll it over to do all the gear door stuff then i'll worry about getting inside there for all the uh uh, the, in, the interior joints because like the four of this and then the the original sides those are gonna get tri stocked together to make life a little bit easier or at least make everything more cohesive and a little bit stronger of a joint um, so yeah that's really about all I got so let's uh, quit yapping and start working Okay, now we've got the majority of the cockpit floor all epoxied and tri-stopped to the uh, side bulkheads and then the central bulkhead here. Um, like I said, once this is cured, I probably I probably put another piece of tri-stock here, probably at least one here on the four portions of uh, the central bulkhead. And then everything inside will get tri-stocked later on once the uh, this is attached to the fuselage and we roll it upside down for the bottom work. So yeah, so we'll just leave it at this for now. And once I do some work, I'll start the video again. And we've epoxied a bunch of tri-stock and all the joints here on the outside portions of the new nose gear structure. The inside has not been done yet. Uh, I think I mentioned in the last video that that will be done after it's glued on and the airplane is flipped back over. And what that does is that allows me to uh, put tri-stock between the original 
uh, nose gear box walls and now the new ones to get a, a nice good glue joint because these walls actually go up against the outside edges of the original wall so they they get glued and clamped together um, right now everything is pretty much done the epoxy here that i just put uh, on about 30 minutes ago is still a little bit sticky but this fits on nicely the nose the fiberglass nose goes over it very well um, unsurprisingly the shape of the fuselage is off just a little bit um, you know it's a hot wired styrofoam you're just melting foam so it's not the the most precise way but it's, it's pretty dang close um, it's a little pr proud here at the top center and a little low here on the on the quarter the, the upper quarters but we can sand this down and then fill this in with a little bit of a, a balsa wood sheeting and then sand it down to, to the proper shape right now everything is pretty much ready to go to get this all glued on um, here on the top center we had the original uh, rear wall of the cockpit that got cut right down the middle of that balsa was sheeting i took a top flight woodpecker and just put a ton of little divots and holes in it i did the same thing here on the foam where the foam had been sanded nice and smooth to give it a little bit more tooth for the gorilla glue to stick in or to grab hold of and now it's time to to mix up some glue uh, so like i mentioned the new walls go on the outside edges of the original ones they're pretty close to being a good fit there's just a little bit of a gap maybe a sixteenth of an inch total um, so I'm gonna mix up 30 minute epoxy and just put a huge glob of it here on the outside so it can run down and I'm gonna do the same on the inside of the new walls everywhere else we'll get Gorilla Glue and then it will get tack glue with some CA here in a couple places to help hold it in place and then we'll use some just HVAC tape to to hold everything nice and tight up against where it is while it cures for a while so that's the plan now let's let's get to work and, and do it We'll leave this to cure for a few hours and then uh once that is done we'll start going on uh, working on the next step which is make the removable portion of this all uh removable um as you see i've got just slots of hvac tape all over the place holding it in five pieces up here a couple pieces here on the side and then down here at the bottom i put some more as well right there where that corner is so the glue doesn't uh doesn't run out and if it does it'll foam up that way it uh, gets a good glue bond so yeah we'll leave it to dry <laughs> 